The funny thing is, though, I just had a phone call about two hours ago from uh, Metropolitan Police. They think, they reckon they know where this person lives and where this person is. And they asked me, what do I want them to do? So I've asked them now, I want full prosecution and I want this guy to be locked up for the rest of his life for his own protection from me and my family. And that's what I've asked for now. So, like I say, I don't, I don't worry about it, you know what I mean? I went to London, now, apparently, according to the, the um, message I just had through, oh, I've been filming kids again. No, I wasn't. I was travelling through the streets of London, so I'd done a load of videos. I've got three or four videos, actually, but I only put one out because I was so tired last night. But I will put some more out there. But it was only just to show where I was. So, like I say, I've got nothing to hide. But it's like I say, carry on doing what you're doing, mate. Because it's just more evidence against you. And for your advice, I never knew people like um, Esau or Bleeding Heart when I knew Maka. Never knew anybody. Never even knew you. But like I say, that evidence is fucking beautiful. Because now, the person, the people I used to be friends with, are now getting all your live streams now. They're getting all your live streams now, and it's going to show you exactly for what you are. A creepy stalker. And not only am I sending it to them, other people that I know are sending it to them as well. Including the victims as well. Your victims. Yes. And I'll repeat that and I'll emphasise that very slowly. Your other victims. So like I say, carry on stalking me. Carry on doing whatever. I do not care. Because you are dead. I told the police today, two hours ago, for your own protection, you've either got two choices, hand yourself in or just let the police get hold of you. Because I tell you now, if I get hold of you or my family gets hold of you, you are dead. There's no two fucking ways about it. You are going to die. I promise you that. I promise you that. And I've said that to the police. And they actually said to me, Oh, Mr. Sullivan, please don't say that. You're on a recorded line. I don't care. After the shit you put me and my family through, and my late mother through, you are going to die. Simple fact. So I suggest you better start running, pal. Because if my family gets hold of you, you're going to disappear permanently. I promise you that. Where you're going to end up on your last few couple of hours of your life, don't know and I don't care. But I do know one thing. You'll never be found. And you will never be seen again. I've given you fair chances to go away and leave me alone. Now I'm letting my family deal with this now. I'm letting my family deal with it now. And I've told the police they want to get to you. Before they do. So I suggest for your own safety. Pack up your bags mate. And go to another country. Because that's the only way you're ever going to be safe. I promise you. But I tell you this now. The longer you stay in this country. You're dead. I promise, I promise you that. You're going to die. I'm going to put your fucking. How can I say it? your very disturbed and warped soul back in the ground where it belongs. I promise you, I am going to kill you. There's no two ways about it. You are going to die. Now, what by means necessary, I don't know and I don't care. But I promise you, you're a dead man. You are going to die. I've given you fair warnings now. So it's your choice. Carry on stalking me. Don't care. But I promise you this. 
you are going to die. Because I've told the police now, I'm hiring the private investigator because they're legally allowed to go online. And once I've had your address, I'm not going to give your address out to the public. I'm going to give the address straight to the police. And I'm going to give them a month to arrest you, charge you, convict you, and put you in prison for the rest of your life. Because I'm telling you now, if they don't, you're dead. I get paid on, when is it, what day is it today? Thursday. I get paid on Monday, and I'm actually going to use that money, although I can't really afford to, I'm going to use that money and I'm actually going to hire a private investigator. I've told the police exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to let them find you. And I'm telling you now, once they find out where you are, who you are and everything, I'm going to give your address straight over to the police. And then it's down to them for your own protection to put you away for a very, very long time. Because I'm telling you now, I promise you, if they don't, I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. So you can stick that up your fucking kyber now. You have harassed me, stalked me for the last time. You're a fucking weirdo, Plisco. But I guarantee you, within the next month, you'll be found. So be warned, be warned. Because I tell you now, I guarantee you, within the next month, I will find out where you live. But I'm not going to do what people do, doorstep people. I won't give it to all the other... Well, I'll give it to all the other victims. Yes, I will. Because that's down to them what they want to do. That'll be down to them. I should give it out to people like Jupiter, Moon, and I'll let them deal with it because that's down to them. That's nothing to do with me. But I tell you this. I will give your address out to the police and I promise you they will have less than two weeks to put you away for a very long time because if they don't my family's going to come after you. I promise you I will make you vacate your property. I promise you. You want to know what domestic terrorism's all about? I'll show you what domestic terrorism's all about. I will have you on the run for the rest of your living fucking days. You messed with the wrong guy. Well, I promise you this. I'm coming for you now, boy.
Sorry guys out there, I'm, I'm just having me, um, me dinner. But I'm telling you now, little freako, little stalker, I promise you now, I guarantee you within a month, I will find out where you are. You see, because private investigators can do things that you can't, or not the police can't neither. I promise you, I will have your address, I will have your name, I will have your photograph, I will have there, everything there is to know about you. And I promise you, I promise you this, if you want to pack your bags and go to another country, because I'm telling you, I'm going to kill you. And that's not a threat, that's a fucking valid promise. I promise you, I'm going to do to you what you've done to me and hundreds of other female victims. I will do to you what you've done to me and my late mother. I will do to you what you've done to other females on, online. I promise you, you're going to wish to God you'd never ever crossed me or ever met me. I promise you. I promise you, you are going to regret the day you ever fucking met eyes on me. I promise you. I just hope to God that whoever gets hold of you, because I know the police wouldn't even give a shit, because to be fair, they don't like you. They don't like you. They don't even give a fuck about your safety. But do you know what's funny? I've already told them everything that I'm do I'm gonna do. And you know what they even said? We don't care. And you know what? Nor do I. I just hope that whoever gets hold of you makes you beg and beg and beg. You don't know what plans I've got for you, pal. You don't know what plans I've got for you. But I promise you this. You won't be so fucking mouthy. You won't be so fucking clever anymore. I guarantee you, you won't have hands left to be able to use a computer again. I promise you. I will have your tongue ripped out. I promise you this. I promise you that as well. You will never, ever, ever bother anybody else again. I will have you maimed for the rest of your life. I promise you. I'm going to make you suffer so bad, you're never, ever going to want to come back online again. I promise you. And I guarantee you this. When I've left you, every time you look in your fucking mirror, you're going to see me. Because I'm going to leave you something on your face for the rest of your fucking life. I promise you, bruh. I promise you. Every time you look in that fucking mirror, you're going to know I'm still around. And you know what? You're going to know I'm your daddy. I'm your boss. Yeah? Because you know what? I don't see myself as a victim anymore. I see myself as a survivor. But you know what's funny? You won't. You will be my bitch for the rest of your life. Every time you look in that mirror, you're going to know that I'm around. I'm going to make you beg for every inch of your life. I promise you, I'm going to make you beg And you know what? I hope I do go to prison. Because at least I know then that I'll get out one day and you won't. You'll be six feet under. I don't care. Either way, I'll have you maimed for life or you're going to be six feet under. And I don't care.
I don't care. I don't care. But I guarantee everybody else online in the rest of the world, you won't be around to ever hurt them again. I promise you. I promise you. So you can record that, give it to the police, say what you like. I don't give a fuck, because guess what? Already told them. I told nearly every fucking police force in this country. I promise you. I will either have you maimed for life, or you're going to be buried six feet under. Either way, I don't know, don't care. Because it won't be me that'll be doing the, the, the last deed. I guarantee you. Or as they say, the passage of rights. I won't be issuing and issuing that them to you. It'll be somebody else. So I don't give a fuck. So I don't know why you don't just fucking hand yourself in, because I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, I'm hiring a fucking private investigator. And it's going to be worth every single fucking penny. Because they'll find you. They'll find you. You'll never bother me or ever bother anybody else again. I promise you. And I don't give a fuck. Get all your little crony friends from your little trolling ring to clip and edit everything I've said today. Don't know, don't care, couldn't give a fuck. Because you're a weirdo. I don't give a fuck anymore. But I promise you this, you're going to wish to God you'd never clapped eyes on me. I promise you. Sorry guys, I have to bear with me, I'm just having me dinner. And to all the good people out there, be careful what you put out there. Because this guy, he will fucking record it all. He will go down all your media, fucking social media accounts to find out information and shit like that about you. He's a weirdo. So make sure that you put everything that you got on private. He's known under the accounts of uh, oh, what was it called now? He used to be known as the Legend Plisco, Big Balls with a Z McGraw, M C G R A W, or he goes under the name of Thirteenth Cyber Panzer Faust. That's his accounts. So to all you people out there, put all your social media on private. Things like Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that.
because that's what he does. And if he finds out your address and stuff like that, he goes up onto Google and he tries to find other information about where your fucking kids go to school and and shit like that. And he starts ringing up the local school saying you're a nonce and a paedophile and shit like that. That's the sort of shit that he does. So just be warned, guys. There's plenty of evidence of him doing it. There's a lot of victims out there. There's a lot of victims, including children. He even had a pig's head sent to somebody's house addressed to their fucking child, to their child and everything. Seriously. And what he does, he infiltrates your social media accounts under different false names or someone that you may know. So be careful. Like I say, he's got other victims out there. Like Bleeding Heart on YouTube. Mad as a box of frogs. And people like um, Esau. People like Brian Hell or the Dream Team. And I'm sorry when I say this, guys. Um, people like um, Moon. Well, uh, her old account, Room 33. Or could may well be... Um, I can't remember other account now. Um, but there's other people out there. Jupiter Affiliated or Jupiter Affiliated Tutu. There are all plenty of victims out there. Of what this guy does. So I warn everybody. Be very careful of this guy. Be extremely careful. Because that's the sort of shit that he does. So I thought I'd just let everybody know. You're more than welcome to go over there. They will tell you exactly what this guy is like. The guy's a fucking nut job.
side. Not for say. But he's actually a Scotsman. We don't know exactly where he's from, but I'm going to find out in the next few days. Because it's not illegal for me to hire a private investigator and find out. So. That's what I'm going to be doing. So to all the good people out there, just be careful of this guy. The police have actually said he's actually criminally insane. So just be warned, be very, very careful. Because like I say, I had a phone call probably about three hours ago now. Pardon me. And he's looking at an extremely long time in prison for what he's done. And what he's still doing. But they just don't have the resources to find him. So therefore, I'm going to do the police's job, but a different way around. I'm going to get a private investigator to do it. And the minute I get his details, I'm going to give it straight over to the, the other victims. And then I'm going to hand it straight over to the police. And the police will have literally a matter of hours to deal with him. Because if they don't, He's going to end up either maimed for life or dead. That just depends on how I feel at the, the time. Me personally, I, I want him dead. But we'll see how it goes. Either way, he's going to know for the rest of his life that he'd wish to God he'd never set eyes on me and my family. I promise you. He's going to wish to God he'd never set eyes on me or, or my family. So like I say, it's all done. As of tomorrow, I should be getting in contact with private investigators. Thanks for letting us know, Afsal, mate. Thanks for letting us know. So it's all done. It's out of my hands, to be fair. So, but like I say, it's all being dealt with now. So, in fact, in fact, I've just had a message sent to me now from uh, from a private investigator. So here we go. Let's have a look. Let's see what they've got to say. Right here we go. Do 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 do. Right, let's have a wee look. Right, let's have a look.
Wow, wow, wow. For many years, our company has been the leader in the private investigation industry. Private Investigators offers custom-made services that aim at achieving absolute client satisfaction. On our team, we have some of the best private investigators in the UK that help the company build its reputation by constantly delivering outstanding results. All our investigators, our professionals, have a very meticulous approach and hold the skills this complex profession requires. We know that at times contacting us can be all but easy, which is why we try to make things as simple as possible. We are here to help you in any way we can and make the entire situation as painless as we can. As part of our team, we have male and female investigators to ensure you can speak to someone you feel comfortable with. All you need to do is let us know and we'll take care of the rest. Our private investigators are available 24 hours a day, every day of the week. Well, well, well. Yeah, here we go. Request a callback. Well, well, well. Uh, 16th of the 6th. Yeah, here we go. Sixteenth for the six. Yeah, I'll choose that one. Well, I'll put my number in. Save my information for future bookings. Never know. There we go. Between 8 and 8.30, Friday the 16th of June. There we go. Confirm booking. Bloody blah, blah, blah. There we go. Your booking has been confirmed. Blah de blah 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 blah. There we go. All done. So the ball is rolling. The ball is rolling.
<clears throat> it should be charged by now. Right, we've got that sorted. So, right. Just got to wait for a phone call back from them.
I just got to wait for my phone call. That's going to be coming through in a minute. دق التحية الضابط الميدان